Toast is getting some unexpected attention in the culinary world these days. Today joining us is owner of Squirrel here in Los Angeles, Jessica Koslow, to show us some ways that the chefs are topping theirs. So Jessica, what is the new way to do toast and jam? I would say it's avocado toast. It's savory, it has protein and great fat that's coming from vegetables and fruit. Um, it's what everyone's doing right now. Well, it sounds yummy. So where do we start? What kind of bread do we use? Um, well, because we're trying to be healthy and get us through the day, it's either a whole wheat, um, something I would say with whole wheat in it. Mm -hmm. We tend to use a Danish rye. Um, we make it at the restaurant. It takes about 24 hours. Oh, so we're just going to pick up some rye yep. bread. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then how do we dress it up? Um, well, I would start by using good old-fashioned olive oil, mm -hmm. um, and I like to use a brush. So I'll brush both of my sides liberally with olive oil. Obviously, if you have butter, you can do the same thing by softening it and okay. leaving it out. Um, and then it goes into the toaster oven until that olive oil kind of seeps through and gets nice and toasty. Perfect. So we do that before we do anything with the avocado. Obviously. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that's step one. You have, to, you have one. to teach me step by step. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's step one. And then step two mm -hmm. is getting the avocados nice and ripe. If you feel them down here mm -hmm. and it just feels the slightest bit soft, they're ready. Okay. I like using Haas avocados. Um, I'll cut them in half, take out the pit, um, and then I'll scoop from around the side. So I'll use a spoon and I'll go from the bottom and go around and just pop them in. Okay. Same thing with the other. Scoop it in. Um, and then I'll add fresh salt, pepper. This looks yummy already. I'll slice um, a lemon just a tiny bit in. In the middle? In the middle, yeah, and that way I can use it for quite a bit. I'm not drying out the center. And then I'll mash it. And I'll do that for a while. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so now I've got my kind of mashed avocado. And the final step would be to actually, once the toast is nice and toasted, which mm -hmm. this is. Got it. I might, um, you know, do a little bit more olive oil on the toast just to bring it back to life. And then it's time to scoop this on. This already looks good. Yeah. Doesn't need much. And then I'll typically finish with Malden sea salt, some chives that oh, I'll perfect. cut up. Yeah. A little bit of parsley. And then one of my secret ingredients, which I, I mean, I use all the time, is the zest. So another reason why I don't cut the lemon all the way through mm -hmm. is so that I can have easy access to using the zest. And I'll take a grater and just grate it on top. And it adds the essence of lemon. OK, perfect. Well, this looks delicious and very easy to make. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jessica. Sign me up for more avocado toast. Don't click too far. We've got unexpected ways to top your toast right here on Hashtag Own Show.